What is going on, beautiful people, and welcome back to the Meridian Dynasty here on NCAA Football 06. And as you can tell from the title, this is going to be the final episode of this series. And the reason being is, honestly, I'm not really enjoying playing NCAA Football 06 like I did when I first started the series. And I feel like the series in general isn't really drawing enough i don't really feel like people have a lot of interest in this series anymore and if i'm not enjoying the game and you guys aren't enjoying the series then at the end of the day the only thing i can really do is just bring the series to a close but i'm gonna close it out i at least made it through two seasons of this series and while i did enjoy it all good things must come to an end so we begin taking on utah state and they're led by quarterback benedict hollister who most of the FGFL fam know as a starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears. Shout out to you, Tyler. And here's Hollister throwing off his back foot. He's going to find Robinson down the field for a huge first down. Now second and 10 from the 29. Hand off to Williams. Burrow runs right by him, and Williams gets a block, and he'll get into the end zone for the Utah State touchdown, and the Aggies take a 7-0 lead. So now Meridian facing a third and one, and Logan Roberts going to try the old Fake sneak off tackle run that we've done so many times. This time it doesn't work. Now fourth and three. Roberts going to sit in the pocket. Throws it underneath to Smith, but he's tackled in the open field. Loses a few yards. And the Nighthawks turn it over on down. So now Utah State with the football. Here's Hollister on the QB draw. Finds a lane, and he's going to pick up the first down across the 20 up to about the 16. So now second and goal. Here's the fake by Hollister. Throws to the end zone. Finds Christian in the end zone for the touchdown. And Utah State up 14-0. So it's looking ugly already. That right tackle just got laid out. So Roberts has to run. Picks up the first down. And he's pushed out of bounds past the 40. So now first and 10. Roberts is looking down the field. Pump fakes. And he's going to roll to his right. And finally just decides to run. He was thinking about throwing it to O'Neal last second. But runs. Gets across the 20. Up to the 18-yard line. And now later in the drive, Meridian going to try the fake sneak off tackle again. And Roberts into the end zone for the touchdown. So Meridian gets on the board. It's 14 to 7. And now third and 10 in the second quarter. Now Roberts going to roll to his right. Throws it across his body. And that's a horrible decision. He's intercepted by Austin. There's a missed tackle. He gets a few blocks. And Austin's going to take this back for a McPick 6. And Utah State up 21 to 7 now off of that fatal mistake there by Roberts. So now here's a pitch out to Branson. He's looking down the field and finally throws it, and it's caught somehow by Jacob Hill, who steps out of bounds for the Meridian first down. So now first and 10 from the 42, Roberts running the option pass, looking down the field, and he has a wide open DJ South who makes the grab. He's brought down at the Utah State 40. So now the Nighthawks trying to make it a one-score game again now at the 39. Roberts looking down the field, and he's just going to yeet it. And it's caught by Jalen O'Neal, who gets the touchdown for Meridian. And it's a seven-point game. But as has been the case pretty much all season, the kickoff team just can't cover to save their damn lives. And Bully is going to take this all the way back for a touchdown. And it's 24-18 now. Now, about two minutes to go in the half, third and 23, and Roberts just going to let it fly and finds DJ South, who gets up to the 30. So Meridian gets out of a little bit of a pickle there and now have a chance to get some points. But now another fourth down for the Nighthawks. Roberts on the play fake. He's going to try to scramble, and he's tackled again in the open field. Utah State making all the right plays. And now they look to make it a three-score game. Here's a throw right side to Robinson. He breaks a tackle. He's up the right sideline and gets laid out by Burrow. But he does pick up the first down. Now second and five, under a minute to go. Hollister over the middle, finds Christian, and he gets laid out again. Burrow is just in his bag right now. And now second and five, Hollister looking. Throws right side and is caught by McPherson between two defenders for the Utah State touchdown. It's 35-14. to 14. And now Logan Roberts trying to make something happen for Meridian here. And he's going to be hit as he throws incomplete. And Roberts is hurt. He'd be diagnosed with a torn pectoral muscle and would miss the rest of the season. So now Matt Henry in the game for Meridian. Finds Jacob Hill. And he's going to burn the defense. Meridian gets back into this game. It's 35-21 now. 
And don't sleep on the Nighthawks. They can still come back in this one. They decide to go for two for some reason. So it's actually going to be 35-22 as Hall Miller hauls it in there. But now Utah State going to kick a field goal to make it a 16-point game. Still very manageable situation for Meridian. Henry Sillen at quarterback. Looking down the field. Hit as he throws and it's intercepted by Mott. And now Utah State looking to make it a three-score game here. Meridian's just spiraling out of control. Now Hollister going to throw right side. Caught by Jensen. And he's going to get up to about the 11-yard line. Miles Burrows hurt on the play now. Not too serious of a hip injury, but he would miss the rest of this game. So now Meridian down 41-22. to And there's Henry finding Jalen O'Neal, who gets across the 40. So the Nighthawks down, but they're not out. Second and 10, Henry looking down the field. And he finds a wide open Jacob Hill, gets out of bounds for yet another first down for Meridian. Now first and 10 from the 29, Henry. Get some nice blocking, and he's going to throw left side. Caught by O'Neal. He takes a big hit, but holds onto the football this time. And now a few seconds to go in the third quarter. Henry going to pitch it out last second. Richard Darwin with a wide open lane, and he's going to get into the end zone for the Meridian touchdown. And the Nighthawks not going away quietly in this one. Now it's 41-28. to They're going to go for two here. Henry on the play fake. Throwing right side to Hall Miller, but it's broken up this time. And it remains a 41-28 game. We're into the fourth quarter now. Henry trying to bring the Nighthawks back. He's going to throw it left side, and it's caught by DJ South. Can't get away from the defense, and he coughs up the football. And Jalen O'Neal, I don't know what he was doing there. He had two opportunities to recover it, but somehow Utah State still gets it. And now the Aggies going to make the Nighthawks pay as Hollister scrambles right side, breaks the tackle. Benedict Hollister up the right sideline. He's going to step out at about the 27. And now Utah State going to kick another field goal to make it a 16-point game. And Meridian now running out of time with about three minutes to go. They face a fourth and ten from the eight. Pretty much their last chance of doing anything here. Henry going to let it fly and overthrows Jalen O'Neal. So the Nighthawks turn it over on downs. It's first and goal to go for Utah State. And the Aggies looking to put this one away. Meridian sending the blitz. And Hollister going to throw to the back of the end zone for the touchdown as Irving gets mossed once again. Well, this is new with that man. So now Henry trying to do something here. And he throws it deep and he overthrows O'Neal. It's intercepted by Austin. And he's looking to get his second pick six of the game. And he's going to do just that. Utah State would win this one 58-28. And Meridian now has to win their final game in order to be bowl eligible. They take on BYU in the final game of the season on their senior day. And it's win or stay home in this situation. And you guys want to know a great way to ensure that you stay home. Give up a huge rushing touchdown on the very first play from scrimmage as Meridian does just that as Branch is gone for the touchdown, a 73-yard run. And BYU, just like that, takes an early 7-0 lead. Now, second and three after a three and out. And here's Branch again. And he's going to get another big run. Not quite a touchdown this time, but still, he's over 100 yards with just two carries. First two plays from scrimmage, and he's over 100 yards. And now here's Branch again, getting into the end zone this time receiving. And BYU looking to turn this into a route early. It's 14 to nothing. So now first and 10, Dan Foley getting the start this time after Henry's poor performance. And he's going to find Jalen O'Neal for the first down up to the 41. So Meridian trying to not have to stay home here. At least Dan Foley's trying to make sure he doesn't have the team stay home. He finds Jacob Hill. He breaks a tackle and he's into the end zone for the Meridian touchdown. Just a thing of beauty. A great throw by Foley and a great catch there by Jacob Hill to make it 14-7. So now we go into the second quarter after a bunch of three and outs, and here's Kevin Branson running. He gets a nice first down there for the Nighthawks. So now second and 14, here's Foley looking down the field, has plenty of time, throws right side, and is caught by Reg or Landon Hall Miller, I should say. Now first and 10, Foley on the play fake, looking down the field, and he just yeets it to the end zone, and it's caught by Hill for the Meridian touchdown. And we have ourselves a tie ball game at 14. It's a great throw there by Foley. He's not the most athletic quarterback in the world, but he does have a hell of an arm. And he showed it off there. Pretty good accuracy there as well. 
So now, second and two for BYU as they look to take the lead back in. Guess what happens? Alonzo Irving gets Moss yet again. I think he might be the one player in this series that I'm just not going to miss having at all. As McCray gets into the end zone for the BYU touchdown, makes it 21 to 14. Um, Meridian has to punt it away. Actually a pretty good punt by Ray McGriff, except for the fact that the coverage team is absolutely horrible and Thompson's going to be gone. McGriff tries to cut him off, but he gets blocked out. And BYU goes up 28 to 14 over Meridian. And things are not looking good right now as BYU has the football with about 14 seconds to go in the half. Here's the throw down the field, and Thompson makes the grab. He's going to get up to about the 11. So now they probably should just kick the field goal here with seven seconds to go, but instead they decide to throw it. And Washington makes some pay as he gets the pick. Good play there by Jay Washington. I'll definitely miss this linebacking core between Washington, Montgomery, and Anderson. Those guys are great. And you'll probably see him in a series later on as Foley throws a pick there, but no pick six. Good job by the O-line and cutting him off there. But yeah, like I was saying, you'll definitely see a lot of these guys from this series in the Chargers franchise and maybe in other series down the road. We'll just have to see as Darwin breaks a tackle and he's up the right sideline. He's going to get across the 50 up to about the 48 yard line. So the Meridian offense showing some life. But now third down, Foley under pressure, throws over the middle and he finds DJ South who spins out a defender in South. Going to get inside the 20 for yet another first down. So now first and 10 from the 17, Foley on the play fake. Looking over the middle, caught by South and it's another first down for the Nighthawks. But now fourth and goal from the six. Foley trying to convert here. Looking towards the back of the end zone. Throws it to O'Neal, but it passes him and it goes into the hands of Andrade Edwards for the Meridian touchdown. So I guess that's one way to score. 28 to 21 is the score, but now BYU starting to drive towards the end of the third quarter. Here's right, and he's going to throw to the left, ironically enough. It's incomplete, but it's a pass interference on guess who? Alonzo freaking Irving. Cannot wait to be done with this man at this point. And then here's the defense just getting burned again. Irving takes a bad angle, and it's a touchdown. Would have been an offsides call anyways, although I don't actually think Burrow is offsides. I think they're just messing with us at this point, but oh well. 35-21, to 21, pretty much the last chance for Meridian here. Foley going to throw down the field, and it's broken up and complete. So the Nighthawks go down 35-21, to 21, but they need to stop here. Not quite over, and Bird absolutely lays out Branch. It's recovered by Jeffrey Anderson, and the Nighthawks all of a sudden have life. So now second and inches from the 26, here's Foley looking down the field, steps up, lets it fly, and he finds Andrade Edwards, who picks up the first down into BYU territory. Now they face a first and 20 after a holding call. Foley looking down the field. And he has all day, throws right side, and is caught by South. That probably should have been picked off, but Meridian lucks out there. And now a third down, Foley going to drop back, and he just holds it way too long, and he's brought down for the sack. He had Edwards open, but Edmonds gets to him. Now fourth and 19, this is the last chance for Meridian, and Foley hit as he throws, coughs up the football, and it's recovered by BYU. And BYU would end up milking the clock as much as they can. Now, fourth and five, right on the play fake. Throws right side, and it's caught by Brown. Meridian has no timeouts at this point, pretty much. So now BYU trying to put a cherry on top of this one. Branch going to get into the end zone for yet another touchdown. And the bowl hopes for Meridian go down in flames as the Cougars win 42-21. to And Meridian's season is over. So, Meridian did have a few award winners here, as Roberto Ramirez wins Offensive Lineman of the Year, so congratulations to him on winning that. He was definitely one of the better offensive linemen in this series. Logan Roberts wins Quarterback of the Year, and he actually also won the Maxwell Award, but for some reason it just didn't pop up in the game. So that's kind of weird. And Tennessee actually ended up going back to the National Championship, and they faced Florida, actually. But the Gators end up winning this one 37 to 14. So unfortunately, the Gators are the national champions. Gross. So it looks like I ended the series at a perfect time because after the season, Meridian got placed on probation basically for not 
disciplining their players enough. I didn't have any discipline points, like I mentioned at some point in the series. So basically, the penalty that was imposed was just 10 less scholarships for two years. I guess they figured since Meridian's not going to make it to a bowl game anyways, it doesn't really matter if they're banned from postseason or not. Interestingly enough, also, Logan Roberts actually declared for the draft as well. So I'm going to import this into my Madden 06 save and see what his ratings are. And then I'll probably move him to the Chargers series. So that'll be pretty interesting. So what's the future of this channel now? Obviously, I still have the Chargers series going. And once I actually feel like playing 2K, <laughs> I'll start doing the King series again as well. I'm planning on doing something with NCAA Football 14. That's all I'll pretty much say. Just keep your eyes peeled. We could have something big coming very soon, but I appreciate all you guys that showed support for the Meridian Dynasty, even though it didn't last all that long. But for those of you who did enjoy it, I'm sorry to you guys, because I know you, uh, some of you guys were very loyal fans of this series in particular, but don't fret. NCAA Football will be coming back to this channel very soon just keep your eyes peeled that's all i can really say and if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more franchise and dynasty content from craniac gaming then make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn your notifications on to join the notification gang that way every time i upload a video you guys will be notified and to see more from the channel check out the playlist in front of you I've been suffering in silence and they paid me no mind I've been stuck inside the shadows for a really long time It feels like they forgot about me while well, I'm here to remind you that the world is gonna hear me when it's my time to shine